weeks after a long delay in the renovations of the Randall Museum in San Francisco's Corona Heights, the upgrades are finally done. KPX 5's Wilson Walker gives us a first look inside. The, the location is very special. It's a former quarry. Perched on the side of Corona Heights, the Randall Museum still clings like a lizard to the side of a cliff. But 66 years after it opened, this building finally has its first renovation. It's exciting to have the museum new and expanded, more accessible. From the raccoon to the barn owl, that means posh new digs for the more than 100 animals that live here. But the real payoff is vastly more space for the people that come to visit. This ocean's exhibit is all new space. We have a woodworking shop. We have a new STEM lab called uh, the garage where you can do digital printing and woodworking. Roomier, brighter, more hands on, and more connected to the landscape that surrounds it, which is, after all, the function of this building giving kids a way to see and touch the things that make the Bay Area what it is. Now, for those of you waiting to hear about the other beloved piece of this museum, the trains are still here, but now you can actually see them. Back when the renovation was announced, there were fears that seismic improvements would mean the end of the line for this layout, but most of it was saved. A little bit more elaborate than the one I got for Hanukkah when I was nine. Yeah. And here's some really good news. In the past, this incredible train set was only open to the public when the model train club was here, but now it is officially part of the museum, and you can come in here and check this thing out whenever the museum is open. You know, a young kid will be able to press a button and look over the, the glass screen and the trains will be running, uh, you know, all the time. In San Francisco, Wilson Walker, KPIX 5. Very cool. Well, the grand opening ceremony is this Sunday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m.